Dante, como do Jose? Welcome to Caribou Stew. I'm glad you could join us. Oh, hey, everybody. It's me, Beaver. Hi, Beaver. Thanks for joining us, too. What are we going to learn about today, Miranda? Good question. So, uh, today, Beaver, we're going to read a book and we're going to sing a song about Beaver Fur Mittens. Beaver Fur Mittens? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like other beavers. Yeah, actually, it's true. But don't worry, beaver, you're safe. Um, It's going to be okay. It's just, um, yeah, we're going to read a story um, called Sadie's Mittens, and she makes a pair of mittens with her grandma. Oh, okay, well, uh, I'm going to go and listen maybe in my, from my den. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, talk to you later. High five. All right, see ya. Bye, everyone. All right, so we have here, I'm actually going to take off my mask because we're alone. Well, I'm alone here. So we got Sadie's Mittens, and it's written and illustrated by me, Miranda Curry. So in the beginning of the book, we have some interesting words in our Willaday language. So grandma is Etsy, and grandpa is Etse, and then our mittens, which we're going to be talking about, are la G. And then uh, the beaver pelt is sawo, and the moose hide is dendi wool. And um, yeah, those are a few of the words to start with. Yeah, okay. So when you hear those words in the story, you'll know what I mean. It was haton welo, and that means late fall. At sea was sitting by the wood stove. She was sewing a pair of mittens from moose hide and beaver fur. Here's the picture so you can see. Uh, Sede came to warm herself by the stove. She sat quietly for a while. Then she asked, Etsy, can I make a pair of mittens too? Etsy thought for a while, then nodded. Yes, my girl, it would be good for you to learn to make yourself some laji. It will take longer than you think. We must gather the many materials we need to make your laji. First, we must ask your father to get a tsa, which is a beaver. So we can use the tsa wo. Do you remember what tsa wo is? Tsa wo is the beaver pelt. You can help scrape the inside of the tsa wo, then stretch the tsa wo. Finally, we must smoke the tsa wo before it is ready to use. So there's the pelt and the beaver is getting smoked in there so they can use it. Next, what we must go and ask at Tse to hunt a dendi for us. First, we must scrape the hair from the dendi wool, then stretch the dendi wool. Finally, we must smoke the dendi wool before it is ready to use. I'll do it, said Sede, and she went to find Etse and her dad to ask for their help. There's the dendi and getting smoked. Then there's the dendi wool. And there's the dendi wool getting its hair scraped off so it can be used. During the winter, Etse and Sede's dad helped to prepare the tsa wool and dendi wool for making la ji. It was now thlik e. The sun was bright and the days were long. Etsy showed Sede how to sew a small birch canoe with an overhand stitch. In the old days, Etsy explained, we use the quill of a porcupine and the sinew from the guts of a moose. These days, I use a needle and thick thread, she laughed. One day in Haton, as the leaves began to turn, Etsy called for Sede to come inside. It's time to cut out your laji, she said. Etsy took the pattern out of the cupboard. She got the special knife that she used for cutting fur. Etsy went to the closet and took out her old wool coat. The coat was worn and it had many holes in it. My girl, she smiled, you can use my old coat for the inside of your la gie. So each time you wear them, you can remember that I love you. Maxime Honneton. Together, they traced Sade's hands onto the paper to make a pattern. They traced the pattern over the dendi wool and the tsa wool. 
Together they cut the dendi wool and saw wool with a special knife. Why did you put one pattern upside down? There you go. Um, Sade looked puzzled. It is so we will not waste any of the dendi wool or tsa wool. Oh, good idea, Etsy. Sade smiled. Etsy laughed softly and continued working. She took the scraps from the dendi wool and cut long, thin strips from them. What are those? Sade asked. That's the trim, Etsy explained. It will make the laji windproof and keep the water out. When the first snow falls, I will show you how to put them together. So there's the little trim in there, and they're cutting out the, the dendi wool, and there's the tsa wool, the, uh, the opposite side of the tsa wool. It was hot ton. The first snow fell, and Sade reminded Etsy of her promise. Well, my girl, let's start with the wool lining. First, we must sew the thumb pieces together. Then we can sew the front of the liner to the back. It's really starting to look like la jean now, Etsy, Sade delighted. Now for the dendi wool and the tsa wool, Etsy guided. First, we must place the fur and the nice side of the hide inwards. Then we place the trim together, um, trim between, sorry, the dendi wool and the tsa wool and sew them all together. We will turn the fur back on the outside once we are finished sewing. There you go. There's the wool and there's the um, dendi wool and there's the tsa wool. Sade worked patiently on her laji during the next few evenings. She and Etsy sat by the wood stove together while Etsy worked on some new moccasins for Etsy. Etsy, Sade asked, next year, will you show me how to make moccasins? Of course, my girl, Etsy smiled. I am happy that you are learning the traditional ways. There we go. Awesome. So I, oh, there's a little pattern at the back of the book for some mittens. I would love to show you something special. Let me see here. Right here. Are my own beaver fur mittens. Here we go. See? And they have beaver fur here and moose hide here and they're on a string. And it's really cool, this beaver here, because um, they have two layers of fur. The top fur is the guard hair, and the bottom fur right here is um, the, the down or the uh, under fur. And it stays, makes the beaver stay warm and dry, while the guard hairs help all the water whoosh, slip right off of him. So when we're wearing our beaver fur mittens, I'm sure many of you have a pair, then um, they keep us nice and warm and dry. So, I have a song I'd like to share with you about beaver fur mittens. I'll just grab my guitar and here we go. So, the chorus, um, which you can sing along with, is My beaver fur mittens made with moose hide on a string. My beaver fur mittens, they are my favorite winter thing. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try it then. My beaver fur mittens, made with moose head on a string. My beaver fur mittens, they are my favorite winter thing. You guys got it? Okay, let's sing together then. My beaver fur mittens, made with moose head on a string. My beaver fur mittens, they are my favorite winter thing. Here we go. I got mittens that are blue, I got mittens that are red, I got mittens for the daytime, I got mittens I wear to bed, I have a lot of mittens, too many to be sure, my favorite mittens are made of beaver fur, my favorite mittens are made of beaver fur, my beaver fur mittens, made with moose head on a string, my beaver fur mittens, they are my favorite winter thing. My beaver fur mittens, made with moose head on a string. My beaver fur mittens, they are my favorite winter thing. I have mittens that are crocheted, I got mittens that are knitted, I got mittens that are too big, I got mittens that are fitted, I got mittens that are loose, I even have a pair of gloves. My beaver fur mittens are the ones that I love. Mm -hmm. My beaver fur mittens are the ones that I love. My beaver fur mittens, 
statements that I'm a strength. I be for mittens. They are my favorite winter thing. They are my favorite winter thing. Masi Cho Sagya. Thanks for joining in to Caribou Stew. Have fun and share what you have.